Now it's not clean, thank God. This bottle's clean. Smell. <laughs> do it nice. Yeah. I need one for it so more people come on. Leave one until about 40 people come on. Not your best, real love. I know. Hi. Hello, guys. You'll have to excuse the state of me because I've just. Uh... Well, if, if you like this video, put your <laughs> thumbs up, please, guys. Uh, 55 watching it to now. Yeah, can you put your thumbs up, please? The likes, 65 watching. 76 watching. This is just a quick one. This is why I'm in this state because I was in the middle of tidying the house. Get ready for our lovely anniversary <laughs> um, tonight. It's Halloween. I'm waiting for. This, <laughs> this, this is like Halloween. This is what we're on now. But tonight it's our anniversary. Isn't it? Everyone's in it. It's not everybody. What's it? Um, um, I'm on day. And all the grapes is what is a special meal. So yeah. we're going to have that tonight. So just wait a few more people going up. <clears throat> but uh, happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. I hope you're all in love still. All them who were married or engaged. Hi, Key Commander. Thank you. Hello, Key Commander. I just wait. You're all going, guys. It's going to be massive for this. Massive. Right. Power to the <laughs> people. Come on, now, guys. Thumbs up. Anybody put the like on the like button, please. Push down below. That's it. Get that like. There's a hundred on. Like button push, guys, please. 46, that's it. You all keep push that like button. <laughs> and you're gonna I'm gonna come on here and blow the socks off someone. I don't make lies up and my wife doesn't. Facts, hardcore facts, that's what's gonna be on here. We're not angry or anything. We just responded to some ludicrous allegations. So we have the right to do that. We have the freedom of speech and that put my right wife to reply. Down. You have the right to reply. And we spoke to a brief, um, which is a solicitor. You have the right to reply to anyone. There's been any false allegations against you. And there's plenty of allegations are false. Yeah. So, five, four, three, two, one. Right. Our lovely friend. See, we knew nothing about this, but our lovely friend, Jimmy Craxton, had sent me a screenshot of uh, a message, uh, well, a comment he left on Decker's channel, which has uh, been deleted, obviously, by now. Uh, Jimmy had said to him, Briar's never asked. Uh, said he knocked Lee out, so that's shit. Brian has, has said about Garside beating him and also about him beating Garside, so that's another piece of shit. I've known Brian for over 30 years and he wasn't a bully back in the day, so that's another piece of shit. Decker, you really do need to check your facts, mate. As for Brian, you about charges, you already know his dates and his video, he was told off Tony Burkett. Also, I bet you I know where the proof from battering Emma comes from. So thank you for that reply, uh, Jimmy, because yeah, it's been took off. Thank you very much. And I've watched the uh, ludicrous podcast. So I just want to address a few things. As for Brian battering me, I've known him for 30 years. He's never laid a hand on me, right? <laughs> and do you really think that I would allow that? No. And Brian's never attempted to. So what on earth are you talking about, Dickie Hickey? Tell him more lies. What have I told you before? Keep the vile stuff out your mouth about us, right? Well and it was me that went to Jordan, right? Me alone that went to Jordan and talked about him going to the podcast with you, right? It was me that went. Brian never went anywhere near. And why couldn't I go? Alone? Right? Because Brian was coming, had come out of hospital. Oh, I was right. paralyzed, right? You, and as for saying Brian is pretending to be poorly, what a load of nonsense comes out of your gob. You're an absolute failure at everything, right? So, as for Brian uh, battering Amanda and Jordan, right? And she's that scared she dare come out of the house even now. That's just absolute ludicrous nonsense. They weren't that scared of him, were they, when she was robbing Brian of thousands and thousands of pounds, right? So, and she stayed with him for how long? And he's never been charged with, like, yeah. beating her up or anything. Come on, get a grip of yourself. You've seen, you've seen the state of her with the drugs on the documentary. So, come on, give it a rest. And, and how could I threaten her son? How, could, how can he threaten the son, yeah? When, when he was, it was me that went round there, not Brian. So, uh, let me have a look what else I need to thingy. Um, oh, and you're saying James English is a proper podcaster. Yeah, we love James, right? 
Well, wasn't it you that was trying to get um, people to do James in? Yeah, with machetes. You're absolutely disgusting. Absolutely vile. Thumbs up, guys, if they think we're telling the truth. Right. Put your thumbs up on it. You're again. a total wrong -un. You spout vile nonsense. And you can't even walk around in your own town. You have to hide out the way in bedsits. And what else do I want to say? Yeah. Disgusting. Let's have a look. Um, so you want to get your facts straight, Dicky yeah. Hickey. And as for beating Brian in his prime, I knew Brian in his prime. And you know what? You'd have lasted two seconds. Right, absolutely two seconds. Well, Who have, what, what, what have you ever done in your life apart from uh, sexually <laughs> assault people? <laughs> Little Danny, give you the yeah, Danny, battered you all yeah, over. Yeah, and sexually assault women and children. Right, so it's not Brian that has a serious risk to women and children. It's you. So keep my husband's name and my name out of your mouth. Right, guys. I'm going to be, move over looking at the side because I, I want to be right in his eyes, mate, because I'm scared, scared, me scared of you, you stupid. Have you seen the stadium? you got a head like a Klingon. The, the, the Klingons off the start of the I've seen the stadium. I'm 57, got 58. You're a mug. You went and had a fight with little Danny Christie, God bless him. Lovely little kid. But you know why you had a fight with Danny Christie? Because you actually got in jail, you big shit house. You wouldn't even face a 13-stone kid. You went and made statements, three statements, and what happened to poor Danny? He went to jail. And then he got out, and then he started. He got on him making statements. And then he did it with Anthony Burkett. And he went straight with you. You wouldn't go and meet him. But Anthony, ben, he was befriended yet first. So he felt sorry for you. You had him jokes, like you had me joke. He asked me to help you. He told me, oh, I always want to be like you. You're the best fighter ever. No one ever could have beat you. No one. Your hands speed was brilliant on the documentary, McIntyre. I watched you as a kid, and I wanted to be like you. And I trained from you. I, 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 my dad loves you, and I used to talk to you. And then I found out what you were. Got phone calls from Newcastle, from friends. Um, little Gary Furby told me what you were. Rowan, and I still stuck to you because I believed you. You're so good at convincing people. Put your thumbs up, please, if you like this. I think I'm telling lies or he's telling the truth. And as for me, look, not going to leave nothing. Let me tell you, this is fact. Every book I've written in, I've never, ever said I threw a punch at Lee Duffy because on the day of the fight, Lee hit me on the sly and half down, pushed myself up, grabbed him, smothered him, and the, and the fight got broke up. But I had the better room because I was too strong for him. And he said to Carol Edwards, who's his missus, who even admits that he, she, she was with him. She had two children and said, Lee said he's the unstoppable force. He's like giant haystacks. He's just too strong. He's just like, I'm going to, I'm going to team up. And mainly Lee teamed up and we became the legends what we had. And Lee's gone now. I never said, I couldn't punch Lee because that, on the Thursday night, I had a fight in Thornaby. Well, lads, and I brought my hand. That finger was broken there, that one there. And that thumb was dislocated. I was with Kev Kilty, about 15 people seen the fight. And I've never once ever, in all of my books, if you go, guys, and go back, I've never once said I knocked Lee Duffy out. And I'd, in the dark side fight, I was in that club. I'd had about four, uh, 20 ecstasy. I was in there for two days. I came out and had an 11-minute fight with Dave, put him down for three times, run, run about with him, and he caught, caught me with a beauty right out to the ribs. And he put me down. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't get up. I was gone. But I, I drank a full one and a half litres of Bacardi. And there was friends from the Cesars was with me that night. Uh, Robbie Armstrong was with me. All, all them top lads were with me. All the people in the pub, they'd all gone. And he came. A fair dose. But I went back the second fight. I hit my one right hand, left hook. And I got on top and I pulverised him. Because the real Brian Cotton come that night. And I beat Dave. Me and Dave have got no problems. Me and Dave got So if you shook hands and it was all forgot about. It's people like you and the so-called author of the tea side who could bring all this shit up. Because they can't stand all these, um, all the, all this... Um, Bullshit, but the truth is, don't forget to put your thumbs up, guys. Uh, you like push the like buttons. So let's get to you now, Mr. Higgy. I can walk anywhere I want. I can go to Liverpool, I can I went to jail there, never had a problem with, with, with all the top lads. I went to Havrick, uh, I went to Havrick, um, jail with all the lads from Liverpool and Manchester. They used to call me Big Ver, and they loved me in there because I was a proper man. I wasn't a shit house. I got done. I've got nothing on my record. There to go away from the police. I've had it to a police officer. Frankie asked him, something's happened there. Where? Looks like, all right. No, uh, I ran down the stairs to get away from the police. The policeman hit me on the head with a truncheon. I fell into two police officers. I gave him a half inch scratch on his wrist. A new one broke his watch when he fell on the floor. Because I've run away with class and resisted arrest. I got done for that. I got three months for one, three months. I got six months for that. 
that, that was included in the, the driving offence. I went to court for a driving offence. I got remanded for three months. Remanded with a clean record for three months to Durham. The lads in there can tell you. And then I got three years jail for it. And I went to seven different jails. I thought it was eight, but it was seven for a driving offence, right? Now, wherever I go, whatever city it is, London, Manchester, I'm going there anyway. I can go, you come to Manchester, see if you can walk around the Manchester Arena, right? You come to Middlesbrough, next couple of months, Big John Lewis is fighting in Middlesbrough at his bare fight. You come there and see what happens to you. See, see, how, see how long you'd last in there. You wouldn't last 10 seconds. You can't even walk down your own street. You're hiding. I'm in my bedroom, yes. I'm in my bedroom and downstairs. I'm still recovering from two major operations. And you text, you've got to try to out me for a fight. Come and bully me, screaming, shouting. Known for the fact that I couldn't even walk. I couldn't even walk, you fucking shithouse coward. Shithouse, you are, that's what you are. You wouldn't even face that then. You're going about James English. You, you tried to get. When, when he found out about you, Anthony Burke realised what you were, when he turned on you, and he offered you out, you wouldn't fight him. And then you started making make statements against him to get him jailed. You got him locked up. He can prove he's got the statements. You got him locked up, right, for nothing, because he found out what you were. And you tried to get him to chop James English up with machetes. I've heard the recordings. But John McLean, who's your business partner, and John came out and got poor, I'm not having this. He said, you go and get your acro sorted. And if you do it, I will pay you to go to Bora Bora uh, Beach. And you can go in there and laugh at them all and read it out. But no, you wouldn't do it. Then the, the travelling lads to Manchester, they, they asked you to get produced. You went, I'll produce, produce. You haven't done it with them either. Because you can't produce it because it's got all horrible things on. Now, your ex-partner, Rhonda, I think she's called, she came on. When you go to the police station, you can't get a piece of paper that you acro off someone of the police. What they do, they take you in the police station, they talk to you, and then they read it out to you what is the, the, the crimes. These are for some of these are for no further action ones. But if you've got more than four, I think it is four or five, you class as a significant risk to women and children, right? Which whichever one you, you, you're with. Uh, uh significant risk to women and children. So one day phoned up the police station with the COVID being on. She got the jackpot because you know why? Because she couldn't win, talk to them over the desk. So they read your charges out. You were done, I think it was four rapes. Four rapes. One on an 11 year old child. Couldn't say what type of sex it was, but you had sex with an 11 year old little girl. A kid going to school, going to a primary school. You had sex with a primary school kid. Right? Prove me wrong. I'm going to get your acro. Prove me wrong if I'm lying. You got remanded to Durham for rape, not once, several times. Non-swing, 43s. The non-swing, 43s. That means you can't go in the proper wing with the proper men because you're all point finger out because you've been done for a sexual offence. You went into the toilets in Newcastle. You only went, didn't go up one set of stairs. You went up two sets of stairs. You went in the toilet. You tried to rape the woman in the toilet. She screamed and somebody came in and, and you ran out and you ran down the stairs and then went back to that club. You never went anywhere near it. You've done that to her as well. So when 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 she's phoned the police, they read out, right? It's on the internet for people to you can hear it. You would known, but this is the police telling this, not me, not someone else, not him, not Tom Jack John. This is the police saying it. Police woman reading out the charges what you were done. So so what do you? She, so she said, can you be specific and tell me again? So she's going to read it all out again. You can hear it's the police from the police station, and he's a significant risk to women and children. Or what he's done, the crimes he's done. These people, there's other people out there know what I'm talking about. who have been raped, there's young lads been raped, there's people been raped where they've been frightened of the perpetrator and they're that scared. They won't go to court and, and they feel like I don't go to court. The people be looking at me and they're scared, so they get no further action. You know exactly what you were doing with these people. And some of these people have mental, have mental health issues, some of them are autistic. You evil, evil man. And then you try to say, I'm beating my wife up. And it's for threatening me, it's part of this fucking son. It's t- t- nine years since I've seen them. I've never been anywhere near them. And I couldn't go near them when you were saying, because I was in a wheelchair. I couldn't respond back to you and have a fight or anything because I was in a wheelchair. They've got all the records that he had, all my all records from the hospitals. So I've been making it all up, going to the hospital, video myself. I'll put the videos on to prove to everyone if you think I'm making it up. Don't forget to put a thumbs up, guys. If you think I'm telling the truth, put your thumbs up. Not here, please. Your like button. Could you just push that? I'm not a liar. I never said I knocked Lee Duffy out. I never ever once punched Lee Duffy. Never. Not in any book or anything. So you stop making lies up to make yourself big. And it's for me trying to live off Lee's name. I beat every other fighter I fought. Eddie Buick says I'm the best. Um, 
uh, Lee Wartley's, all these top legends, Big Joe Egan, no, all, all these love me to bits. I can go anywhere I want in my own town because I don't get called names like you. You might class it as bullying, but you couldn't do what I've done. You couldn't do it because you're a shit house. You hide in your mum's house. What are you living at your mum's for? Why why do you never why do you never go out with anyone with children? Because they have to tell the parents that you are a significant risk to children and women. They'll come out and say, Oh, watch him. Anyone look at anyone go out with a kid and you'll be found out. Just go and check the record. Anyone thinks I'm maintenance, go down the police station, or you and I will go to the police station together. I'll ask him to do my record, my, my record, and you ask him to do yours. We'll go together, hand in hand, and we'll see who's a significant risk to people, children and women. Children and women, you're coming on here calling me names. I never had a fight with Edith and Punch Lee. Never. Never. You've made it all up. You're obviously deluded. You know what I mean? We are. All that shit and call me a steroid. Yeah, you used to take steroids. Who oh, didn't? Tell me you're not on steroids. You stupid fool. You were asking me what combination to take. What's the best steroid to take? And then you even say on, I was I was an absolute sex like I was a sex there uh, ravenous when I was on the steroids. It made me like a sex monster. I was wanting sex with any, anyone, everyone, every day, and you put that on one of your videos. So you can't remember like last week because you <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. You know what I mean? So dicky, 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 higgy, higgy, higgy. You're just a full of shit. So stop yeah. telling lies to people. Stop making stories up. And stop trying to bully people who aren't fit to fight. Yeah. And as for Brian Batter me all the time, I'm not saying, like, if everyone, anyone's perfect, we all have little arguments, Possibly. but I always win them, right? Yeah, she, I, she, I, the only person that battered be me. Right. So <laughs> I always win the arguments, right? Yeah. And as That's for true, getting <laughs> battered, he has never laid a hand on my head. Not, not on a piece of hair or nothing, yeah. right? So, thumbs up, guys, please. If you think we're telling the truth, so absolute garbage, right? Just so, that. you're the woman beater and you're the woman uh, Rapist. sexually yeah. assaulter, right? Rapist, so, you. think about yourself before you start making false accusations about and others. Up. If yeah, 500 people on here, can you all please do me a massive favor, guys? If you think we're telling the truth, put your thumbs up on the like button here right now. Yeah, Just and keep now, me please. out of your gob. I don't tell you. lies. I never said I'd be knock lead off yet. I've never ever said that in my life to anyone. And that's on my dead brother's grave. And my mum's pulling out. I hope she drops down dead, dies if I'm lying. I've never said I'm not lead off yet in my life. And Cal Edwards, who's his partner, and the daughters, I mean, you can ask all the family, all the people middle that I've never ever said I'm not lead off yet. Oh, we're wired out our faces. So it's like you, Dickie Hickey, writing that. Wired yeah. out my face. I don't need wired. to be wired. But wired. I've told you I don't want you to wired. even utter my name because I don't even want wired. me in your head. I've just got out um, from upstairs. I've just finished training. I've been in the shower. And I've been with a pup. I've been with a pup. <laughs> wired. Look at me. My eyes are perfect. My eyes aren't wired. Wired. Absolute delusional. So you're the one who's the wired. Wired, wired, wired. You're not, you're not wired up properly, mentally. You're deluded. You're a disgrace. And you've got the ugliest face I've ever seen in my life. That's because you've been battered every fight you've had. You're the, you're the shittiest fighter I've ever seen in my life. You're garbage. You couldn't fight. You can't even throw. You couldn't even put little Danny down. I think I, could, I think I could fight you, Dick, because yeah, you can see shit. your bunches coming a mile away. Yeah, you're absolute garbage. Governor. Really? Governor? Absolute idiot. you got little Gary Fairby. He's a bit bigger. He's got 15 stone. He, he knocked you clean out. You look like a Muppet. I was only 22. You got knocked out, and that's your prime, 22, 23, 4. I went through all in the years, hundreds and hundreds of fights, beating legends that have been beat with anyone. You can't even beat Danny. And Danny didn't possess to be a great fighter. You can have a go, you can have a fight. A young lad like that beat you and made a fool of you. Spot on, Stella Marie Smithson. Definitely, he, if, if it was when uh, he was with his ex-partner, Brian was like in his prime, and so could you imagine the damage he would have inflicted exactly, if he'd have hit exactly. someone? Spot on. And also... Um, He's I never went down no really one's house either because it was a vet, our friend, and Emma, and another girl that went, and they spoke to, to, the, to them, and they were okay. They, they did say to you, Emma, didn't they? Yeah. It's not us, it's them pesterers all the time. Dicky, 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 he's phoning him every night and phoning his girlfriend, and then something like that. We're going to pay them, going to give them this, and going to give them that, all, all the bullshit. Well, dicky, you're not in Brian's league. And as never I say, you, like, I would face you yeah, because you that's did. what you are. You're nothing. You're you nobody. You're a total irrelevant piece of nonsense. Yeah. And you know what it is for all these crap you spout out, oh, governor, 
Governor, what governor? Absolute. And clickbait, and you, we don't even say your name. We no, call no, you no, Dickie. We, we don't even, you've only just surfaced again the other day, and then you're saying, I'll fight, uh, I'll fight, um, Dickie from Liverpool. What do you call him? Uh, uh, the, other, the other one, I can't remember his name now, from Liverpool, going, going to fight him, you say, the one on the BMX bike. So you just kind of clickbait yourself, so that's what you do. It was actually you who clickbait me, me, me and Emma. You put us on with Stephen Rafe and Paddy Conroy and all of you clickbaited all them on your show and going, oh, the clickbait. And no, we didn't click. You put me, you put them in the show for, for us to clickbait. Oh, was, yeah. You who contacted me when it, we made me, I, I was getting married. I was talking to you while she was getting a wedding dress for two hours. You had on the phone crying and everything you were. And your dad would come on the phone and, everything, and you were saying, if you come in the ring with me, the next minute you put a big massive post up about, I'm going to the ring now. Nobody's going to stop me. I've got Brian Crotter behind me. He's the best fighter ever. Nobody could beat him. He's a legend. He's this and that. But now I'm what? I'm totally different now because I found out what you are. Is that what it is? Because I found out what you are now, uh, Dicky, 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 Dicky. Uh, significant risk to children and women. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to walk down the street. Well, you can walk down the street. Let's see you out in Carlisle drinking with the lads in the pub. Let's see you out in Newcastle drinking. Let's see you out in Liverpool drinking with the lads. No, because you have to hide in shitty little bed sits in parts of Scotland all over hiding from people. And every cart goes by, you shit yourself. You walked, you did go, you did go out in your own area where your mum lives, God bless them, and, and, and your dad, using them. And you're walking about what time? Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. That's the only time you can go walking in your own area. You know, you're walking in Carlisle. Four o'clock in the morning because in case you got clocked by someone, they'd be straight out the car and get into you. Yeah, let and me. Coward. Yeah, let me. There's a recorded phone call of him talking about James English, and it was absolutely disgusting. Yeah. Poor James. What has James ever done in law? Like, he, he says, he said, Anthony, get your machetes out in there, sharpen them, and get them shot again, chop him up. Absolutely That's disgusting. That's attempted murder talking, and you got off again, snitch. And Snitch. call him Brian, a police informer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because it must, he must, I would, you know. So you obviously admit it's true the police are looking for you for oh, yeah, the way. allegations with Tony. Yeah. But it was Tony that spoke to us. Yeah. And it was us that chose well, how to. How the police tell me it. about How could the police tell me about you getting arrested? The, the person who makes a statement, they have to inform them that what's going on and they tell them that's what's happened. It's been informed that you're going to get arrested for allegation or whatever. So that's what was said. Not me making it up. And please, please don't let me hear you say you would have done Brian in your prime again because that, is, just, that, that is just absolutely... Mucker. You know what? You're making it, yourself look a million times worse than what you are. Everyone's just laughing stock. They're laughing at you. People are like the people, like the people, like the Stephen says, when Brian would have fought anyone and beat anyone. And I'm telling you now, he says, on James English and on Sean Atwood. Stephen, Michael says would say it if he, he doesn't go on, but he would. All these top people, Paddy Codder even said it. You're talking about people, so... No uh, podcast uh, referee uh, isn't gone. Yeah, can you just uh, push the like buttons, please? If we are telling the truth, uh, and he's, who, who do you believe, me or him? Do you really uh, seriously believe this man? Where there's people after people after people come out calling him a rapist. No, Someone called me a rapist, right? Let me finish. Someone yeah. called me a rapist. I'd have something to go, I'd have to go in and sort it out. All he has to do is show his acro, but he won't believe because he can't. He keeps bringing dodgy ones out with different names. He, he, he had one the other month. It wasn't even your, your proper name on it. It's just a lie. No yeah. podcast referee. It isn't true that he was going to get uh, Bryce's stepson on and they're going to uh, expose no, Brian. No. Brian was in a toxic relationship with the stepson's mum, right? And that was that. That was, so that was nine years ago. It was ago. a drug fuel relationship and yeah. they were... Both as bad as each other. Yeah, and that was nine years ago. And that it was the so called author of the side bringing that up and telling people, I'll get you this and I'll get you that. And you can say, I'll give you this and I'll give you that. And I'll pay you money. No. And, that's, and, he, and that's, he admitted it to you, didn't he? Yeah. When you were in a vet, went to see him. And it was all forgot about. You could give her a cuddle, shut her hand, and give me a kiss. And everything. Mm. It's all forgot about. And that's what it's you regurgitating it again. No one threatened anyone. How could I threaten anyone when I was in a wheelchair? I couldn't even get out of the house. My same Brian's my pretending to be I'm pretending to be ill, you muppet. Honestly, Cling on. You wouldn't have been able to go Cling through. Cling on. One left over and I'm not You wouldn't have been able to go through the road. operations, Brian. No, you wouldn't Are you Jimmy Claxton? Thanks for that message earlier. I've just read it out, Jimmy, because I loved yeah. it, but he's deleted it Absolute off your one. Bag. Yeah. So, Jimmy's known yeah. Brian for 30 years. There you are. Do you think, Jimmy, that uh, Deco would have beat Brian in his prime? Yeah, can anyone think that he'd have beat me in my prime? You knew Brian, Jimmy. Just take a look at my video where I'm on the boxing gloves in the back garden and I'm hitting the mic up. Like, and then with a the McIntyre one, you see that Muppet when I was 24 stone fuck, by said. hand speed, like fucking a middleweight. Mm. Muppets. Oh. So 267 likes. Go on, guys. I'm sure you can do better than that. All the others must be for you. <laughs> <laughs> on, Sorry the for the buttons. language. No, he wouldn't. Jim yeah. said, yeah. No, 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 no
Yeah. All these Muppets are saying, oh, I could have been by quite No, if you could have, you would have. I went everywhere and it was only me who took over Teesside. No one else in this area has ever done it. Me, me only. I came out when they died. I went out, I went and I fought all the top fighters all over Teesside. They know one about I don't have to it. And I beat all these top fighters in Teesside. And then the other ones paid me off. And then I took over all the rave scene to close all the clubs down. The, the, um, the, the rave, the, 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 what do you call it, the Ramses and all them. Yeah. Clubs. I shut all them down, brought the, um, the, the, um, the rave scene out. I owned all the clubs. And any beauty used to work the door with me. 3,000 people used to come to that club. The only beauty was on the phone with you last week, on, on and he said me. nobody, and I witnessed this, he said to Brian on the phone, Ernie Butte was on the phone and he said, nobody could live with Brian back in the day. Then that and was, that's and the he truth. was like one of the greatest fighters ever. And I always say he's the best, but he always says, Lisa, no, a good big and I'll always be a good little, he says. And, that, and then his friends come in and said, he always says, you're the best ever, Brian. And what five young lads come with books. If you look on the internet, you'll mm. see them all. And they all come in and talk. And they loved it, didn't they? And yeah, but I went to fight people all over the place. I didn't, I didn't just stay in my own town. I went fighting all over different cities to fight people for money. And I did it and I won them. That's so what I said, you. Jimmy, you would have lasted seconds with, with yeah. him. Yeah, wouldn't have lasted even five, so, one punch, it would be over. Yeah. And I never, never said anything. The stories about me and Dave is in the book, A Tax Man. If you buy it, you'll read it. Never, never, ever said I beat Dave Garside that day. I was getting the better of him a few times, and uh, sadly I ran out of steam. But I went back, second fight, beat Dave. Then me and Dave ended up shaking hands, and it was all forgot about. And it's him again, the so-called author of Chase. I bring it all back to try and get to get people to slag me. And call well, this me. is his sticker now, trying yeah. to bring it all back. Yeah, but he's, he was the yeah. one start. He's the one instigated it all. Chichina, are you Chichina? Yeah, but uh, I believe Chichina. Yeah, thank you, Chichina. But Dicky, you want to keep us out your videos because because you just what, what's happening now? You're going to look a fool because we'll get about hundred thousand people to respond to this now, uh, like the last one from Liverpool. Calling me loads of shit, and he's finished. So you, you'll end up getting your YouTube Spot channel taken down. You'll get your YouTube channel taken down. What's going to happen to you? Because you're spouting lies out about people making things up that don't even exist. And Jimmy so, Cranston, you're spot on. And Jimmy, yeah, you're spot on. I bollocked him at the beginning. You'll have to listen to it, Jimmy. Yeah, but the <laughs> thing is, um, like so Jimmy and all, you can ask thousands of people on Teesside. You can ask all the people in Newcastle, the top people up there, who run up there, the top gangsters up there. I'll all tell you. I would mainly Duffy be the best two in the country in our day. There was no one could have touched us, and that was me. Then not now, but but you wouldn't have said this twenty years. You wouldn't have said this five years ago. No, you wouldn't have. I'm gonna dare say it, but you were begging me two years ago to help you. You put a big post up because he phoned me. You look at his face. Said, "What are you doing, helping him? He's done this. He's done that. He's done this." I said, "I oh, seemed a nice lad, but you duped me. Like the job where dupe you duped me. Yeah. You fucking bullshit." And I felt ashamed of myself out there, you know, because my brother got raped as a kid and hanged himself. So you fucking think I'd even have nothing, anything to do with a nonce like you? No, mm. never. Yeah. You tottle on and go and talk to your PC plug because you've already grasped, you've already made a statement against the police against them, I've been told. So you've made a statement against me again. So then you've grasped Danny Fair, Danny, yeah, Danny, little Danny, you grasped him up, got him in jail, tried to get him in jail again not long ago. And then you got battered off him, you've hid out the way in shame, and then you can't come out with your defence of anything, because if you had anything, um, it's the police who were saying it, not me. It's the police who said it to your ex-partner and to your ex-partner who you work with, John McLean. It's a significant risk to women and children. Why would they say that, the police? They're the authorities. Higher, any, they're the highest in the country, the police. They're the ones who arrest you. They're the ones who are saying it. But you got off Ping with media, I'm from Teesside and Frycock. Well, it's 100% real and well respected in the area. Thanks, Thank Ping you, media. Liz. Um, let me have a look at some of these. Yep, so it's just ironic now you're all coming to open your mouths when Brian's had operations after operations. Oh, these idiots from crazy. different areas. Oh, could have done no, you couldn't have done nothing. Uh, well, if if you could have done this, let me just say this to you why was I the one chosen for the McIntyre's documentary in the North East? Why was there anyone in T doing the massive documentary? Why did dispatches come and do another one with me, national documentary? The dispatches, which was sort of shown all over the world. Why did the BBC come to do one with me? Why did Bernard O'Mahony do a, a documentary with me and put me in the big, biggest 50 gangsters of all time in that book? No one else around me is in that book. In Teesside, no one. But why do I keep getting all these top books? Why is my tax fan book the bestseller? Why, why, why do the people want to do a movie about me now? So if you were these good, these other people who've done so-called books about yourselves, in the books, you've done nothing. One fight. Most of you haven't had a fight with anyone with a name. 
I've had a fight with hundreds of people. Diamonds it? around in the eighties and nineties when there was loads of hard cases yeah, around. Yeah, when they were all top mean, fighters, wasn't... like your likes of Bib Brames, your Annie Buicks, your Lee Duffy's, your your the Peter Rolls, your Dave Williamses, all these top fighters, monster fighters. Mm -hmm. Most of the top fighters were from Middlesbrough. Anthony Burke, he calls everyone out and grasses them. Yeah, like he did with you. Uh, yeah, I tried to grass you as well, Tony, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Um, Oh, okay, I'm watching this. Uh, don't forget to put your thumbs up, guys. Only 300 with the thumbs up. We need to get you up the boat. 10,000. <laughs> 10,000. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's how many I believe that people believe us anyway. Don't forget to put your thumbs up, guys. Push the like buttons if you think we're making this up. If you don't think we're making this up, sorry, push the like buttons. We're not going to lie to you. We're not going to lie to the public. But I did not say this. He's saying, he's saying today that uh, Brian Cox has lived off the reputation saying he knocked out Lee Duffy and never, ever Give said that. But so you need, let me finish. So you need... Oh, there's that guy being that angry. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to get your facts right before you say, I'll sort of like that for this off now, guys. Right, I'll see Jimmy you Jimmy Cranston, so. everyone Brian has just named there, Heggy would have lasted more than two, wouldn't have lasted more than two minutes with, and I know every one of them. Yep, and that's spot on. And... Uh, you better watch it because you get a good eye. Oh, don't batter me, Brian. Again? Okay. Yeah, oh, again. I might have to batter him. Um, yeah, I'm back to it. Back yeah, he's yeah. back to it, and so he's had to move. But I'll see if, what questions and try and acknowledge some of you. Oh, yeah, he said Brian's a heart attack waiting to happen. I think he's Brian's fitter than him he's in, he's uh, after the two operations. <laughs> no, then we don't open too much. I'll try not to, Jimmy. Uh, I'll just trip him up or something. YouTube's gone a bit crazy, Carol. It's dead calling out people uh, for attention to himself. Totally spot on, Carol. That's Carol, uh, Lee Duffy's mother of Lee Duffy's children. Um, you should stop responding to my, my documentary. Yes, Eggy is in Scotland at the moment. I remember seeing Brian. Carol, um, if you've seen it, he's saying that Brian was living off Lee's name. Um, and he'd not. And what, Brian? Yeah, yeah. Could you just clip, uh, say on here, Carol, on the comments, what uh, you know because you off Lee, you what I'm happened not, with I'm Brian not. and Lee? Because you you were talking about it the other day, and will you just put it in the comments, Carol? Because yeah, you've got it first, stand off Lee Duffy, because uh, yeah, you're the mother of his kids and you were with him for a long time. Heart attack waiting to happen. I think if you opened the door and Brian was standing there, you would have heart attack. So do I. I am keeping calm from when going calm as anything. I wasn't calm at the beginning. Big love versus something. Yeah. yeah. Carol's going to put in the comments. So this is Lee's, uh, mother of Lee's children and the mother and was with Lee for a long time. So she's going to put down what Lee spoke to her about. Um, she was Brian, you'd have black eyes or something. I, I know exactly. I wouldn't be on these bloody um, uh, podcasts, what are they called? Uh, lives all the time, would I? I'd have some kind of bruising. Uh, Lee Duffy's legend, big up tax man, Lee Duffy, thank you. Bait and bed, you try trying too hard, very quick to defend yourself. What do you mean you're trying too hard, very quick to defend yourself? If I've got somebody making videos, I didn't even know the video was there until my friend. Uh, sent me a message so if he's going to be calling Brian the names he's called him and calling me right of course we're going to respond so what you're ta talking about quick to defend ourselves no we're talking facts we're not defending ourselves we've got not nothing to defend ourselves to that vile person for so go back to that channel and stop talking nonsense on here He's trying to get a name by giving it the big gun to you, Brian. Let's see how big he is when you better. <laughs> better yeah. Uh, let me have a look. Thing media. Uh, well, then I've just gone past it. Uh, two six. I'm just waiting for Carol to um, to comment. So I don't want to turn the live off before she comments. Uh, no one can beat the stuff. Um, Brian is a legend. We all have a nice day. We don't do train ride to run for us. We've just realised four years back. So we have four years back school together. You both look great. Dan, Daniel Turnbull. Is that is that you from Courtland School, is it? <laughs> is it? That's part back memories. Um, 
uh, what's the key to not find out about the key to not learn yeah it's disgusting the guys obviously hasn't learned a lesson all your followers know you're genuine and caring people thanks Barbara Barbara are we going to go to puppy training classes or what this pup's getting naughty right so Carol's commented so this is Lee's ex-partner and mother of his children Lee said it was a draw he called Brian the immovable object if Lee won, Brian would have wanted a straightener, and if Brian won, the same would apply. Lee said, why keep taking chunks out of each other and destroy each other? That's spot on, Carol. Act to not defend yourselves when you know the other person is lying and using your names to clickbait. I know it's terrible. He did the same when he called Brian out. Uh, do you not think Brian and them have the right to defend themselves against the shite Decker has spouted on his video? And it is shite. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah, everyone's got a right to reply. Um, I want Eli. Do you know what, Jimmy? You can have him. Work. We need respite. <laughs> we need respite over him. <laughs> um, I buy them. It's no contest for us. I've just bought the other. Right. Let me have a look. Uh, Carol, you can leave. Uh, we're, we can, we can leave Tony's uh, comments on because it's uh, this is what the video has been. Why, why Icky, Icky, Icky Dicky or Tricky Dicky's done the video? You have the right to defend yourself if you don't. All you hear is nonsense from Decker and no pun intended. It's horrible comments are the wrong ones. I know it's the same thing with that other thing from the It's absolutely disgusting, and people think you're not going to blooming respond. Um, let me have a look. Is that many comments? Can't see. Hi, Carol. I've just gone past you again. I think two sex. I don't know where you've gone, Carol. They're going up too fast. Um, I know it's it's crazy, isn't it, Carol? It's totally insane. Let's all go to the police station and see who the police is. There is to kids. That's off at Anthony Burkett. Um, spot on, Anthony. Uh, I uh, Andy, Jordy Blake. This is not the actions of born again Christians. What 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 can you theatre of dreams can you elaborate on that, please? What what actions is not the actions of born again Christians? Putting facts straight and talking the truth is not the actions of born again Christians. So uh I think you better like elaborate a bit. Exactly. Duffy was a real loud fella that didn't give a shit. Yeah. Why don't you have a straightener with him? Who me? I will. I will. You can see his punches coming all day long. He's trying to get you to respond so you look bad. No one can look as bad as him, can they? Uh, we're going to respond when bad things are said about us. Spot on, Ram Raider. Um, no views, Jimmy, that's why. Yep. Uh, where's Brian's next coming on? Probably later. Met and Julie's in the 80s, and they've got rest your soul, Pop Rosco Gent. But I would have been right. Andy Alley put a wrong right is exactly what born again Christians should do. Thank you, Andy Alley. As born again Christians, you're due to announce the risk to women in society. Spot on, Andy Geordie Blake. Uh, Graham, I used to live there, yeah, but we're open to go back again soon. Uh, Emma, you were a bottle of oh, Sky's the Limits Girls. Oh, bless you. Um, let me have a look. I know every right. Everyone has a right to respond. Yep, that's right. Don't give me attention. Soon call back in the cave. He won't get any more attention after this. I think that that was said all we need to say. So thank you everybody for watching, and we love you all very much. And um, yeah, Jimmy, I do. But you know, how do you do with these strikes for defamation? I'm so thick when it comes to things like that. You know. I am, honestly. See, you'll have to let us know how we do it. I get a bit stuck when it says put URLs in and that. I'm not not very good here. Uh, let's have a look. Um, Brian and uh, see you later. Uh, are you on? Yeah, I think so, Andy. Um, let me have a look. Uh, no idea where my last count. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. I need to call that one. God bless you both. Thank you, everybody, and thank you all for watching. And um, speak to you all soon. Bye. <laughs>